sort of. I mean, he's not a family diner. You're doing, yeah, like, exactly. That, that's like it's going to be a uh, what's they call like a, a high end restaurant, right? So. It's a gourmet place. It's a it's a place people go for their anniversary. You're not going to serve <laughs> restaurant meatloaf. It's just the uh, deg- degradation of civilization, Chris. <laughs> 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 and 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 then Caleb basically rips him off, and and because yeah. of that, you know, Jimmy punches him out. But but it's all forgiven by the end of the season. <laughs> also, because of like, course, because is. they ruined they ruined his deal that he was going to sell the property, and they ruined that. So cost everybody millions of dollars. And no, oh, there's no hard feelings. <laughs> and that's the Especially second time, by the way, that that they've thwarted Caleb's plans to make <laughs> millions of dollars because it happened earlier in the season when he was going to sell the land back to the county. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, Sandy, Sandy derailed those plans uh, directly, well, directly is... leading to him going broke in season two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was going to say that. Yeah, yeah. Like Caleb's really not good at money managing money either. <laughs> you know? It's easy to manage money when you have a lot of it. <laughs> yeah. What is that joke? Uh, how do you make a small fortune? You start with a big one. That's exactly right. Yeah. How do you make, how do you make a million dollars in the restaurant business? You start with 10. <laughs> That's, yep. 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 Yeah. Well, I, I you know, like I'm, I don't know. Have you, have you gone, uh, well you, you go, you order out all, a lot. I do. Have you, uh, like the prices on just like going, like, where did I go today? I went to, I went to Chipotle yeah. and I just got like a, what did I get? I got like a, a bowl with extra meat and some chips and uh, guac and, uh, and it was like 30 something bucks yeah. for, for that. I would, uh, I'm like, Jesus. I know I got two, I got two meals, you know, a burger and fries, uh, for me and a burger and fries and, uh, a frosty for Rachel at Wendy's yesterday. Uh-huh. Uh, or the day before Friday, it was thirty dollars. God, <laughs> like, what? And that was me going to the store and buying the food. Like that was yeah, yeah. that was their bottom bottom line price. It was there was no delivery fee. There was no markup for being an app or anything like that. It was it was just thirty dollars. That was just thirty bucks for, did for you, two like, hamburgers did you get- and a large fry, a small fry, and a small frosty. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh yeah. So you didn't even get like drink like soft drinks or anything. nope. God, yeah, that's nuts, man. Because Wendy's it's, used to be, they used to do like the what is ninety nine cent burgers. Yeah, the biggie something. menu, yeah. right? That was their yeah. that was their thing. They had the the you could get like like nuggets for ninety nine cents and yeah, yeah. God, those days are gone. Huh? The dollar menu's <laughs> gone at McDonald's. Listen to us, we're talking. I remember when you can get a loaf of bread for a nickel. <laughs> <clears throat> I do remember, actually, I do remember 35. So like, it was like 25 cent hamburgers and 35 cent cheeseburgers yeah, oh, at McDonald's, at McDonald's yeah. back in the day. Yeah. That was, that was, yeah. yeah. That would have been, yeah, that would have been a like, while ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Those days are long gone. Long, no, long. I think that was, no, actually, I think that would have been like early two thousands. If I remember correctly. Oh, really? Yeah. I remember, yeah. I remember they had the cheeseburger on the dollar menu. It was 99 cents. I remember that being a big deal. Uh, but jeez, I, I know. Not anymore. I, I was I, I saw a thing on on uh, my TikTok feed or whatever where it had prices for like in like 2019 versus prices today, and the McDonald's yeah. stuff had all gone up like 140 percent or whatever. So it's not yeah. it's not inflation. It's it's more than that. There's more to it than that. Yoga Lotties, We haven't really. Talked. <laughs> I just wanted to mention Yoga Lotties because there's that great episode where Sandy says it like 15 times. And, uh, you know, that was that was apparently that was his idea to do that. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, that whole that, that was like one of those like the first scene in the episode or when it kicks yeah. it off. Yeah. Yeah. And, the uh, open yeah. the opening scenes, the cold opens are, are really, really good. Um, yeah. There's there's another yeah. cold open that I thought was oh the, the opening montage. This is where I let's say the show is more artistically relevant than it gets credit for. The opening montage showing how annoy, annoying Haley is to their day to day routine when she's there, kind of interfering oh, yeah. in their ability to get ready for work and school in the morning. It's really, yeah. it's really well. Done. That's well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like I think she's like eating the bagel. Yeah, it's I entirely know, like silent. Like, yeah, there's no dialogue. Yeah. It's just it's just their their face acting uh, sort of uh, uh, reactions. It's really really good. Yeah, yeah. Really well 
All right, let's see what else I have here. Uh, Kristen was like, not, not want to take Ryan in. Ryan Atwood's a violent psychopath. Let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, I think. Oh, oh, I have a couple of things here. I have uh, when Seth chooses to go with Summer instead of Anna is like when Raylan picks Winona over Ava. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it feels very much like that um, at the time. And then and then Marissa stealing from Robinson's May is like uh, Winona stealing the cash out of the evidence room. Because <laughs> <laughs> Ryan had to like try and cover for her and get her out of trouble and everything. It, was, yeah, it, felt, it felt very, very similar to me. <laughs> the, the, these are the most tenuous, uh, oh, what yeah. is it that you said, the uh, most tenuous uh, uh, relations. Yeah, the more, the more far-fetched, the better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got a few, uh, I got a few things that, that they talked about that were, hey, remember 2004 things that we didn't get to. One of them is uh, I, I, had, I had started to sort of put together a, a spinoff. I might still do it, uh, but... Sandy, Sandy apparently has a hidden porn stash on the PC. There's a reference to it made uh, in one of the episodes, and I'm like, "Oh, that's a hey 2004 moment because you know you don't have you don't have broadband in 2004, so you actually had to save the porn on your computer and hide it in a <laughs> secret folder." Yeah, exactly, the secret folder. And I, I, I thought about this. I, I thought about it'd be funny to write sort of a 30 second trailer for a show called The PC. That talks about Sandy's <laughs> porn collection, and you have like all like a uh, porn music in the back, you know, like yeah, the exactly, is like yep. totally, like yeah, yep. <laughs> and and it's funny because PC is also you know it's a computer and it, it could stand for porn collection, so you got a double yeah. double sort of uh, thing there. There's also Summer who went on an Affleck R- Lopez rant about public relationships. <laughs> <laughs> which which could actually be today by the way <laughs> but she did she did talk about how she because she was trying to justify not telling people that she she and summer or she and seth were seeing each other and she's yeah. like look at what happened to to affleck and ben affleck and jennifer lopez i don't want to be like that oh my god so, <laughs> and we're still talking about and, that and well years. we're talking about it again yeah 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 and uh oh and the shock and awe approach to courtship <laughs> the whole concept of shock and awe comes right out of the gulf war that's right <laughs> yeah. straight up iraq iraq invasion reference made by uh sandy there I yeah was, uh, well i think that the, you know speaking of that like uh you know seth uh, like and that was one, one of the the real annoying things for for him was like he thinks that like doing this grand gesture like when Anna was oh. leaving oh I need to meet her and tell her how I feel I don't know that was like so annoying right? you are absolutely <laughs> right I've got I've got a, actually I have a highlighted comment that I just didn't figure out kind of how to how to put in but I'm so glad you mentioned that because m- my note says that it feels entirely unearned feels entirely unearned for Seth to get that sort of response from Anna at the airport yeah, like, yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't like it at all. Yeah, yeah. So, let's see. Any other, any other little nuggets that I have here that I want to get out? Uh, oh, Marissa and Ryan go on a date to see Master and Commander in the theater. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> They're teenagers. <laughs> They're not going to go see Master and Commander. <laughs> Oh, for the record, that movie is awesome. Uh-huh, I love yeah, that movie. I know, I know. You love Russell Crowe for some reason. I don't get it. But, <laughs> yeah. No, I. Uh, hey, yeah, did yeah. you ever see it? I did. did I, saw it. I saw it. Look, I, I enjoyed it, but it was a two and a half hour movie about boats. I, I it was it was fine. It was fine. <laughs> you know nothing, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it was fine. I, uh let's see here uh, marissa apologizing for living in an apartment nicer than the one i lived in at the time makes me sad because <laughs> there is that moment after after millhouse's dad moves into the condo she's like oh sorry my place is so shitty <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, this is a two-story condo in newport beach dude <laughs> this, yeah. is, this is nicer than every apartment i've ever lived in so far it's like on the water too yeah, like yeah. exactly <laughs> Um, 
And I think that's it. I think that's all I've got. What do you got? You got anything left? I don't have anything left other than, uh, let me see here. Nah, I got, I got nothing left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think the only other, I got one more little thing where I wanted to say that, uh, that, that Seth, you know, he promises cause Ryan runs away. Right. And so, mm-hmm. so Ryan runs away. And when Ryan runs, runs away, uh, Sandy goes to Seth and says, Hey, promise me you're never going to run away. Promise me we're going to talk about it, whatever it, whatever it is. And Seth promises that. And then at the end of the episode or at the end of the season, immediately <laughs> runs away. <laughs> He's such a little bitch. He is such a little bitch. <laughs> and his boat guy is uh, Philip Kyriakis on days. And I once saw him at the Hotel Del Coronado. <laughs> the, guy, really? the guy who's going to buy the boat from uh, Seth. Yeah the, the, yeah. the guy at the dock. Yeah. Yeah, he played a character named Philip Kyriakis on Days. He was on Days for a long time, Days of Our Lives. And one yeah. time one time we were in the bar at the Hotel Dell and he was there. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Like random uh, celebrity Just meeting. Totally huh? <laughs> random celebrity sighting. I saw I saw him there and then my other random celebrity sightings. I saw uh uh both of them were at Brooks Brothers in uh in Beverly Hills. I saw um Ben Kingsley and I saw uh, the guy who played Peter Petrelli on um, uh, Heroes. Uh, I don't Peter know. Petrelli? Who was yeah. that? Was that he was the like eyeglasses the, guy? No, he was like the skinny guy with the, the shaggy mop of dark hair. His brother was the, the mayor or the councilman or the congressman or whatever. Um, shoot. I can't remember. Milo Ventimiglia is his name. Milo Ventimiglia. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So he, was buying, he was buying some weird he was weirdly buying jewelry at at brooks brothers at brooks brothers yeah it was very strange i don't know what was going on there but uh, yeah so that's that's my it's the extent of my celebrity sightings <laughs> oh yeah say, yeah i'm trying to think i met uh vince kingsley was did you get to talk to him no he was i didn't want to bother him he was there by himself and looking at looking at clothing and i didn't want to like bother him i was just like i i saw him and i go to i go to rachel i go hey that's ben kingsley over there <laughs> <laughs> oh speaking of uh, like i had a run-in not a run-in but the, just because i like he passed away recently bill walton i remember uh, oh. meeting him at uh like he, I was sitting at it was the Long Beach Airport, okay. and I was sitting at a bar, and uh, he comes up to me, like behind me, and he was uh, trying to get a drink, and uh, I turn around and like you look up to this guy, you know, like oh, yeah. he's a seven, a seven footer or whatever, yep. and I looked at him, and, and he looks at me, and uh, I, like you give him the, the hey, you know, like not even say anything, but just the nod, yeah, <laughs> you know, like hey, like how's oh yeah, going? I, I am who you think I am, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, that's what exactly what it was, yep. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's a cool guy, or he was a cool guy. I I, uh, yeah. I had seen him a few times. I've been at con- I've been at multiple concerts that he's been at, not too far uh-huh. away from me. And then uh, I was on a flight one time from uh, San Diego to New York, and he was <laughs> one. I was on the bulkhead in coach. I was in the la- the first row of coach, and he was uh-huh. in the last row of first class, uh, uh, cor- uh, on the opposite aisle. And so yeah. I just sat there and he was there the whole flight. And then, it, and then when the, when the plane let out, you know, he stands up and he can't stand up inside the plane. He has to like bend his head down. I'm like, Jesus, yeah, it's yeah. gotta be brutal. He was a, uh, like a really well known as a, a, one of those grateful dead, like a dead head. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, like, cause they're like out here, they they have a, a residency, the grateful, oh, yeah. the remaining bands of, uh, and uh, so dead, I guess they set company, up like this. Yeah. Dead and company, yeah. yeah. So they set up a uh, uh, like a uh, like every once in a while they'll flash uh, him on the on the sphere. Oh, up that's there. cool. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw him at both times. I was at the Paul McCartney shows in San Diego. I've seen him there. I saw him there. Um, oh, that's cool. And we went. We got. We got. Uh, uh, we got sound check tickets one year uh for that and he was there at the sound check too so it was like it was like me and like 250 other people and there's bill walton <laughs> i was like oh that's pretty cool <laughs> yeah yeah so and he's just he you know he's just doing his wavy gravy grooving thing you know during the yeah. concert like yeah, probably yeah. mushrooms or ayahuasca or whatever <laughs> yeah he's uh or acid or whatever huh yeah uh, yep yeah. so 
All right. Well, I think that about covers it. So, uh, so thank you for listening. Uh, we'll be releasing these episodes this uh, uh, over over the course of the next month.